Hey everybody, uh, it's Clark for Trans Central Station and I am the Fridays. Um, I just want to apologize for the fact that I have not been making videos. Um, I was actually in the hospital a few weeks ago. I was hospitalized for back problems. Um, I still haven't been able to get an MRI because my health insurance doesn't cover it. So <laughs> I am I have a, a appointment scheduled with a neurosurgeon on the 18th. And so hopefully um, I can get a referral for an MRI, um, and you know after that I might possibly need to go to a neurosurgeon, um, but let's just hope not. But at this point I'm in so much pain, and this is the first time I've been able to like move around and sit up in the last you know two weeks. So uh, glad I could make a video. Um, but that's enough about me. That was just a little update. Uh, and it's time to talk about this week's topic, which is lining and packing. Let's start with packing, because it's easiest for me to answer. Um, I don't pack. Uh, after being out for about eight years, uh, I think it's around eight years, nine years now for me, uh, I, I, I did do that. I packed. Um, I had an STP, but I'm lucky in the fact that I, when I wear jeans and stuff without a packer, it kind of looks like I'm already packing, so I really don't need to, uh, cause, and I, when I put my SCP in there, when I used to wear my SCP, it kind of looked like there's too much, so it was kind of awkward, uh, and it didn't help, it, like, it didn't make me feel any less dysphoric, and it didn't, you know, like, make me feel, like, I didn't feel like I, I always had to have it, and, some days I was just like, I don't even want to wear this. Like, it's not convenient for me because the SCP, not only is it really hard to use, um, I didn't have a harness for it, and I also have really short arms and a very long torso. So it's very, very hard for me to reach and be able to go to the bathroom. So, um, but in the binding aspect, I do use an Underworks binder. Uh, unfortunately, being uh, built the way I am, I don't have a very large chest size, but I have a very broad chest. Like, I don't know if you guys can really see in this shirt, but I have a very, <laughs> a very broad chest and a very like lots of pectoral muscles. But this, in fact, is not actually that big. So, to I can't really achieve flatness because I can't find a binder that's wide enough for my chest, but f flat. <laughs> <laughs> right, like wide enough, but binds the right way, because I, I did use Ace Wrap um, for the majority of the time that I have identified as trans. Um, I didn't know the harm that came from it uh, at first, because I didn't have the proper resources to know about that, um, and then I couldn't afford anything else. And when my friend gave me his used binder. Uh, years later, it was he was like a D, and I'm like a B, almost A, so it was stretched out, and so I just had to end up putting a strap on top of that, so it didn't help much. Um, and when I got this binder, it is just not wide enough and doesn't <laughs> flatten that great. I mean, it does the job. It's like a security blanket for me. Uh, because some of my friends say when they come over and I'm, you know, just lounging around, and we're not planning on going out, uh, I'll be like, oh, uh, I should put my binder on, and they're like, oh, I don't need, I didn't even notice you were wearing one. So it's the same, it, it like makes me feel good at the same time, it makes me kind of uncomfortable because it's like you don't notice, but I do, and other people could, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, just never use Ace Wrap, please. <laughs> It's terrible for you. My ribs actually have misformed due to years of usage. Um, you should uh, look up what binder works best for you because I personally have to look into that. A friend uh, was nice enough to buy me this one, and I've used it for a few years. It's the only binder I have. Uh, hopefully, I can save up and get another one. I mean, they're not that expensive. Um, but I mean, overall, I can pass really well. Uh, when binding and not packing. 
yet again, it really depends on what you're wearing too, because wear baggier stuff, you're not, they're not gonna notice as much, <laughs> and in both places, like, so I mean that's the advice and like my experience with binding and packing. If anybody has questions for me personally, you can hit me up on my Tumblr, which is Darth Clark, and it's Clark with an E. I can put some links down here. And I'll put the link for the uh, uh, collab blog. I don't know if you guys said that, but that was my mother. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, take it easy, and I will see you next week.